Oh, I could be all it is you need. Cause we are trying to find a way to be. Hello, there, guys, and welcome back to another Miniguard 951 3D pixel art tutorial. And today we're going to try something a bit different. Normally, we're doing like models of of characters and stuff like that we're gonna start and try and do some scenery sort of models and because it's early morning and we've just woken up oh, oh, that was my foxy foxy yawn so once we've woken up we're gonna need a cup of coffee yes we are so what we're gonna quickly do is jump into a quick clip so you can see what you will be building and then we'll jump straight into this tutorial for you guys Right, and we're back. So what we're going to do is we're going to start on the floor, and so far we're just going to—I'm going to do a, a rough square. It doesn't really matter what size it is for now, but I'm going to do a. Let's do it. What we got here? So that's a five by five square so far. That's what we've got. In fact, we'll make it six by six, so it sticks out an extra one all the way around. And there we go. I think that is the, that is correct there. So right, this is our base. This is what is uh, going to be our saucer that our cup is sitting on. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So we want to do that. So we cut off all the corners. So it's rows of three all the way around. So you make a square, and that is the start of our cup. It's quite a simple cup. I'm not going to go too much into detail with this. So what we want to do is then bring one out diagonal here and one out here. Then bring this across three. Then diagonal again here and here. And then just continue this pattern all the way around. So place a block there and there. Destroy the inside one. Because that just gives you the one on the corner there. Follow it all the way around. Same again here. And as you can see this is the start of our cup. So this is our plate and this is the start of our cup. So because it's a nice cut we're going to add a bit of red to this so we want red there red there and the same red there red there deleting the ones at the back so you can have four diagonal across there in fact we'll, we'll do these first so diagonal 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 so ba basically you could go diagonal on all of the corners so once you get here you want one there one there delete one there delete and one there delete as you can see, if, if you carry this pattern on all the way around, you shouldn't have any problem at all with this. So once you've done that, then what you can do is join up the reds in the middles here and here. Like so. And that is really starting to take shape for our cup. So right, we want to get our white back out. And on here, what we want to do is bring it out so it sticks out one over the red. And we want to do that two times, so we do it row of two, and then for this middle one here, we want a one diagonal. Then again, two rows of two all the way across the red, so it sticks out one either side of the red. So as you're looking, you can sticks out one here and one here. So you just, once you've done that, you, you should be fine. I mean, in theory, you could go to all the, the f rows of three red. And then put your white on like so and then go around and do the corners similar to what we did with the reds so making sure they stick out one either side of the red red row below so now you've done that then what we can do is come to this diagonal block oh oh making a mess and then bring it up twice here the same over here bring it up twice diagonal and the same with this one here so it is slowly starting to take the shape as you can see that is one cup at the minute, so we're gonna. It's not a cup unless we've done a handle. So then, what we can do is this side's gonna. I'm gonna use this side for my handle. What I'm gonna do is bring it out one, two here, then bring it down two, and then bring it in two like that. And that is just your 
simple handle for this build in fact I'm gonna put a bit of red there just to bring it out so it connects a bit better I really like that it looks pretty decent in fact I might might change that for white see how that looks Does that look better yeah well we'll keep that for white so there you go there is the handle for this cup now we're gonna do the actual drink itself so what you want to do is come into here and you want to go one low down uh, one row down even and then just fill this all in with brown or whatever drink you want to put in your cup because you could have a cup of tea or something or or maybe you could have an orange juice it, it all depends on on what you want but I'm gonna make it coffee so we're gonna have some brown in here for now like so there and I've got my cobwebs because cobwebs look really good for smoke so what we're gonna do is we got find it's up to you guys it's up to you so we're gonna find the middle here I'd say about there because if you look that's a row of five so you find the middle go across and then hopefully that should line up there with a row of five so yeah so that that's perfect that that is actually in the middle there so from this cobweb build it up one out destroying that one out again diagonal same direction so you've got three going up diagonal like that and then what you want to do is bring it in this way twice and this is just acting like the steam off of the actual coffee because it's a hot cup it's a hot cup of coffee guys so then diagonal twice here like so and then what you can do is come back diagonal the other direction one two three times and then after that third one you then want to bring it back this way and go one two ooh, so four in total we're going to put that and then just to finish it off drop it down at the end here like so so as you can see that looks like our coffee with a hot bit of steam coming out of it so now what we can do for our plate is from here one two three find the middle one two three it's looking good same here come down to this side one two three so we're just making sure the plate is roughly about the same size, three. So then on that three, what we're going to do is bring it out, three there, three there, three there. So we're just going to keep doing this pattern all the way around and we're going to try and make this as round as we physically can for now. But we'll bring it out an extra one here and here and then it's one, two, three. In fact, we could probably do that. I don't know. Yeah, we'll do that. That looks better. So from here. Once you pull out an extra one, you want two out that way and two out that way. So that should all connect. Add an extra one, two there, two there, and extra one. Same again, extra one, two there, two there, and an extra one. So that is roughly going to be our saucer. And it's totally up to you. You could maybe put some red on it if you want to give it a bit, of, bit, bit more of a detail look to it. Oh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I like it. What I'm going to do is take that out for now and I'm going to take the white out and I'm just going to do it so we've got a rim going all the way around. So we can take that one out, that one could come out and that. I'm just messing around with this, it's totally up to you how you want to do your plate. For me I'm just, uh, I want to add a bit, a bit of red in there I think on the plate so I'm going to do this all the way around the plate and it's totally up to you, this is optional, this is just me messing around as I'm building it so this is the fun about Minecraft you can come up with a design and just totally build it in any way you feel like so once we've done the red going all the way around and linking up to the other side like that there we go and we can just fill in our whites just to finish off our our plate our saucer there we go there we go and that is looking the part so now just to finish it off, just to give it that little bit extra sort of saucer looking effect, I'm going to add some slabs. Yes. So what we're going to do, slab it all the way around. So it looks a bit more like an actual saucer than it than just like a, a block. And we're going to follow this all the way around the edge till we meet up with the other side again. And as you can see it adds a bit more effect to your actual saucer and if you look at a saucer they've got like a lip on the edge so this is what what I'm doing here 
I'm looking at my cup of coffee as I'm building this. How funny is that? <laughs> so as we're doing this, we can go all the way around. We're almost there. We're almost complete this awesome build. And there we go. There is your one complete cup and saucer. I hope you've enjoyed your cup of coffee along with the tutorial. Please leave a like, a comment, subscribe. Take care. Goodbye.